again. Um, I've just taken some information out of my bits to do folder, which is in here. And I discovered, which I should have told you about ages ago, which makes everything so much fun. And you can design it yourself, or you can um, go on the internet and find them. Introducing the spy wheel, or the story wheel. Now I have a few here, I think I've got three. So yeah, so basically what you could do is you can even roll a dice, number them. This one's got numbers on it. So I've crossed, as you can see, I've crossed them out already because we've done this. But basically, you, if you look on number one, it says Pin Man, Mountains, Fairground, Poster and Anger and Laughing. And I don't see what that bit in the middle is. Let me just check. Hang on. It's crossed out, but anyway, I can't see that at the moment. Okay, the bit in the middle here says holiday. So basically, what you can do is you can pick one from each section and to turn it into a story. So you can have a pin man that maybe goes underwater to an underwater world. He forgot his umbrella and found some silver coins. Um, met a little girl and then played on the beach so basically you could just this wheel is basically just sets the imagination for a story or just anything you want really and then I have another one here which is the sort of same thing this one's a spy wheel so it's a different sort of thing <coughs> and then we have another oh no that's a story wheel story wheel and that's the spy wheel so yeah so yeah so basically you just pick a section pick one from each section I should say and then get them to write a story from it so just pick one from each one which is it's quite fun my daughter does done this last year and we had quite a lot of fun doing a spy story. And I think if you see, I think we crossed them out that we did do. No, not on this one. We didn't do that one. But we did do some on a spy story. Because I did have I think I threw it away because we ruined the paper. But as you can see on this one, we did this one, which was I can't read it upside down. But we got fear and some other things she, she chose. Yeah, that's what looks. A stripy deck chair. That one says stripy deck chair. <coughs> so yeah, so you can get this if you press in um, story wheel on the internet, mostly Google, obviously. Um, it should come up with a story wheel page, or if you put story wheel PDF, you should be able to get these to print out. I think I printed them out at the beginning of year eight, because I spent most of the summer when she finished in year seven, or when I took her out of year seven, <coughs> excuse me, to um, get all the information we needed for her schooling. So, but yeah. So yeah, this is a spy wheel. So you basically choose a bit, one line, so a CIA agent, um, or an MI5 agent, and you just pick another bit underneath it, or mix them up, match them up, to make a story. And it's quite fun. And you can even make it so you can twirl it around, like so. But yeah, so that's another idea. This this could be set for the whole lesson. So you can spend the first five, ten minutes choosing which one you want to do and then turn it into an English lesson by getting her to write stories and made a structure or even a poem. Because they hate poems, don't they? <laughs> My daughter hates poems. So yeah, so that's just another idea. Sorry about the finger there. So yeah, these are the wheels. I call them the wheels. So you've got the spy wheel, the story wheel, and another story wheel. But yeah, I do recommend looking on the internet. I don't know if I put a PDF under my other videos, which was the, uh, the books I used for year seven and eight, which was one of my very first videos. So if you have a look down there, there's loads of PDFs on that video. I think about 100 PDFs to go towards homeschooling and helping out with lesson plans and just 
whatever and sites and oh, freebies and all sorts so yeah it's just have a look on there but google um, spy wheel story wheel or whatever and it should come up with a story wheel pdf somewhere on the internet so i do recommend you doing these for year seven mostly but to have a little bit of fun in year eight i wouldn't don't think year nines could do it because it's a bit childish but you can use them for year four and five and six it makes it more fun through english lessons and it, feels like they're participating in doing something and choosing something they're going to learn. So, but yeah, so I thought I would just share that little bit of information there. And this is for English. And you can also mix and match it up. Put it and you can make your own even and add art lessons for art, maybe something you've got to do for art, a collage, mix little pictures up or whatever you sort of come up with. And even history, you can put times and dates in and stuff like that. So, but yeah, so I recommend using these. They're quite fun to do and easy to make if you just get a circle and divide it up. You don't have to have pictures if you don't want pictures. Just write the numbers and stuff and words. But yeah, so thank you. Enjoy. Please like and subscribe.